My name is Laura Ochinetu and today I'll be showing you how you can rearrange a temperature transmitter. So over here uh, I have a Yokogawa temperature transmitter. Uh, it's the YTA610 series. So I'll be showing you how you can rearrange this transmitter and I'll be using an Emerson Trex hat device. There's a powerful tool you can use to do anything uh, in, in, in instrumentation yeah it's the latest device from Emerson and I'll be using this to rearrange this transmitter so um, the calibration range of my transmitter is minus 50 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius and uh, I want to show you how you can rearrange this to um, any choice of yours so for example um, after calib um, running your checks on the transmitter and you notice that um, you're getting values that you don't like can actually rearrange it back to the factory setting and you can continue with your calibration so come over here um, to rearrange my transmitter I have my um, transmitter already hooked up so I'll be running this all over again all I need to do is hook up my transmitter the positive to the positive side as you can see and then the negative to the negative side I also did uh, take time to run extra wires on other um, termination point so that I could uh, run checks on them and do well to watch my next video for that so this is my positive this is my negative and this is my ground I have the positive of my heart communicator hooked up to the positive of the transmitter and uh, the negative of my heart communicator hooked up to the negative of the transmitter so that done check um, we need to do the next and this like I always explain, um, this transmitter, um, we have no external power supply coming in. So there's no 24 volt DC power supply currently powering this transmitter. So how do we power it? I'll be using this to also power the transmitter. So if you put um, your camera on this, you can see I have um, some inscription on my Trex device, heart, heart plus power, milliamps and field bus. This is a heart communicator trans, um, transmitter so I'll be using heart plus power because I want to power the transmitter but if I had checks if I had 24 volt DC supply on my transmitter I'll be using this so I fix this on this as you can see um, this is the red part meaning it is the positive so it goes to this place so that's been done I can now power up my device so all I need to do if you look at my transmitter currently um it is not powered yes so we have no value on the transmitter as you can see so i need to run the check now but what do i need to do first i need to power up my transmitter so i go to field communicator and um give it some time it's booting so he said no voltage detected and no communication since it is a hat device um the hat protocol my transmitter is running on the hat protocol so next thing i need to do is click on hat so he said do you intend to provide power from trex unit of course yes i want to provide power what are you providing is it a transmitter or positioner so it's a transmitter so as you can see um my transmitter is currently powered up so but I still need to change the pulling unit so I could get full linkage to my transmitter. So select this. Hard device found, then click on the address. So my tag number is TT52222. So we're good to go so here I go I have connection to my full connection and the full um, power supply to my transmitter so you can see my process variables uh, my lower and upper limit like I said is a minus 50 to 200 degrees Celsius this you can see so if you take a good look at this you see my process but my lower range value is minus 50 while my upper range value is 200 same thing i have right here on the transmitter yeah if you can take a good look at this so 
Yes, this is it. Minus 50. Is it um, minus 50 and 200? So straight up, um, all I need to do currently is to, um, I'm online, so I go to device root. So I go to device setup. So I have my process variables, dialog and service. So I go to basic setup. So I have my sensor basic setup where you can see all of uh, everything concerning my sensor. But what we want to do, we want to rearrange this transmitter. So um, you go to device setup. So on device setup, we have our process variables, variables. we have our dark service, basic setup, detailed setup and review. So I'll go to my dark service. And here I see my device status, diagnostics, sensor marks, minimum log, status log, test device, and calibration. So under my calibration, I have my sensor trim, I have my PV range, that's my process variable range, I have my current trim. So uh, if I want to rearrange, I go to my PV range, I have my um, lower range value and my upper range value. So uh, for now, my lower range value is um, zero, uh, which is uh, okay, and my upper range value is 250 degree. So I don't intend to um, tamper with this um, changes, as you can see. I don't intend to tamper with. So I'm going to apply those same values um, here. So um, that's said and done. So I have my upper range done. Like I said, I don't intend to do um, tamper with it because my range, my upper range, my upper range value is still okay. Um, I'll be need, if I want to um, if I want to trim the current, I will be needing a reference meter. So I don't intend to do that. So this is how you can uh, navigate to um, the trim place of your um, hard tracks device. So all you need to do, like I said, is once you're connected, all you need to do is go to your field communicator and power up your device and from the go to your process variables and um, you are good to go. So um, this is how you can Okay, I'll be running the check once more so I can show you transmitter. So I just give it some weight. You can change the pulling unit. Hook up on address 0 to 15. This is the tag number of my heart communicator. So I have my device root, device setup, dark services, calibration, and PV range. So you have your process variable, your process variable lower range value, process variable upper range value, and your range value. So thank you. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. So don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos on instrumentation and control. I'm Laura Trinidu. Thank you for watching.